Welcome to another TOEFL listening practice video. In this video, you will listen to a conversation, answer some questions about it, review the correct answers and explanations. Channel members can download their worksheets in the community tab of the channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice. Hi there, you must be Maya, right? I'm Ethan, the TA for the General Chemistry Lab section. Are you here for the safety orientation? Yes, that's me. I just wanted to make sure I'm fully prepared before the first lab session next week. Great attitude. That'll definitely help you succeed. Let's start with the basics. Do you already have your lab coat and goggles? I bought goggles, but I wasn't sure which kind of lab coat to get. There were cotton ones and flame-resistant ones. Good question. For this course, you'll need a flame-resistant coat. Some of the chemicals we use are volatile so regular cotton isn't enough protection. Got it. I'll pick one up from the campus bookstore today. Are there any other materials I should bring? You'll also need closed-toe shoes and long pants every lab day. No sandals or shorts allowed, even if it's hot. We've had students turned away at the door because of that. Oh, wow. I'll make sure to dress properly. What about safety procedures? I don't want to accidentally do something dangerous. That's what we're here to prevent. The number one rule is, never start an experiment unless I've approved your setup. A lot of accidents happen when students rush ahead. Really? What kind of accidents? Mostly spills or unexpected reactions. For example, students sometimes mix chemicals in the wrong order, which can create excess heat or pressure. Last semester, someone nearly cracked a beaker because they added acid to water too quickly. Yikes! I definitely don't want to be that student. No worries. As long as you slow down and ask when unsure, you'll be fine. Also, make sure you know where the eyewash station and fire extinguisher are. We'll point them out during the first lab. Okay. Are we tested on any of these rules? Yes. You'll need to pass an online safety quiz before you're allowed to participate. It opens tomorrow and you need a score of at least 90% to pass. That sounds strict. It is. But it keeps everyone safe. If you don't pass on the first try, you can retake it. So don't stress. Thanks, Ethan. This was really helpful. I was nervous at first, but now I feel a lot more confident. Glad to hear it. Come to me anytime if you have questions. Better safe than sorry, literally. Will do. Thanks again. Before I forget, there are a couple more things you should know. We take waste disposal very seriously in this lab. You'll see separate containers, one for acids and bases, one for organic solvents, and one for solid waste. Absolutely nothing goes down the sink unless I say so. Oh, I didn't realize that. So I shouldn't just rinse leftover chemicals down the drain? Definitely not. Even small amounts can damage the plumbing or create fumes. When you're unsure, just raise your hand and I'll tell you which container to use. Got it. Better to ask than assume. Exactly. And speaking of safety, do not bring food or drinks into the lab. Even sealed bottles or gum are off-limits. You'd be surprised how many students try to sneak in coffee. That would probably be me on a Monday morning. I'll make sure to finish it before entering. Good plan. We also have a strict no-phone-use policy while handling chemicals. You can check your phone during breaks, but not while actively working at the bench. Makes sense. Distractions and acid don't mix well. Well said. Now, in case anything does go wrong, like a spill or minor burn, don't panic. Just call me over immediately. Never try to clean chemical spills on your own. I'll take care of it or show you how. Okay. Are accidents common? Not major ones, but little things happen. Someone might grab a hot beaker or splash water on acid without thinking. As long as you react quickly and responsibly, it stays under control. That makes me feel better, knowing I won't be left to handle it alone. Absolutely not. You're never alone in the lab. That's what I'm here for. Oh, and one last thing. Cleanup at the end of every session is mandatory. That means wiping down your station, washing your glassware, and making sure everything is turned off. Even if I finish early? Yep. No one leaves until everything is clean and checked. Trust me, future groups will appreciate it, and it keeps the lab running smoothly. Thanks, Ethan. Seriously, this was way more informative than I expected. I was intimidated, but now I feel prepared. I'm glad to hear that. You're already ahead of the game just by asking questions. If you keep that up, 
This course will be a breeze. I'll do my best. And I'll make sure not to bring coffee. That's the real test. See you next week, Maya. See you. Thanks again. One, what is the primary purpose of Ethan's conversation with Maya? Two, according to Ethan, which of the following is allowed under lab rules? Three, what can be inferred about Ethan's attitude toward accidents in the lab? Four, listen to part of the conversation again, then answer the question. Glad to hear it. Come to me anytime if you have questions. Better safe than sorry, literally. What does Ethan most likely mean when he says, better safe than sorry, literally? Five, why does Ethan mention that some students try to sneak in coffee? 